Imagine this scenario. You built a great website a couple of years back on like WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, or a custom coded solution that did wonders for your small business or a startup. And in the process, your business has grown, which is really, really good. But your website could just not keep up with all the changes. If this sounds familiar, maybe it's time for a migration. In this video, I'll walk you through the exact steps you need to know for a seamless transition over to Webflow. And additionally, I'm gonna show you the common pitfalls that could completely derail your migration process. If you stick completely to the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip that could make a world of a difference. For everyone visiting this channel for the first time, my name is Urosh and I'm the founder and CEO of the Flow Ninja Studio. We are an award-winning studio, which has won many awards, which you can see here. From 2015, we have worked on more than 150 plus Webflow projects and helped many different startups and enterprises migrate their websites over to Webflow. And clients include Upwork.com and Checkout.com and many more I'm sure you've heard of. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about a migration. What is a website migration after all? I mean, in the simplest terms, that is the process of you migrating your website over from WordPress over to Webflow or any platform you do choose to use in the end. And you might want to do things like that because you want to remove the dependency from your development team, you want to be more creative on your website and express your brand more, or in the end, you have way more marketing initiatives and you want to lock your marketing team to do that much more on your website. The first part is knowing when is the right time to migrate. And honestly, when you do start your business, all platforms are gonna be good for your business. If you start on WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, or whatever you start, you're probably gonna be good with any of those platforms. But when you actually start to scale your business and when you actually start having tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people visiting your website, those visits are gonna be worth a lot more and your website is basically gonna become the only marketing channel you truly own online. And that's why I believe you need to start thinking about it a lot more and and in the end using the right platform. One of our clients decided to migrate from WordPress over to Webflow when their marketing team scaled from a single person over to five marketing people. And they needed a platform which is gonna support multiple people working at the same time and scaling the website to hundreds of thousands of visitors. The second tip is that you're gonna need to do your research. We wanna migrate websites from any platform over to Webflow. But in the end, you need to truly be sure that the problem is inside of the platform and that it's not maybe inside of your marketing campaign, your team or anything like that. You wanna make sure that the transition from one platform to another is gonna be positive. And that's why I truly believe you need to do a lot of research on like the current process, what are the current bottlenecks and to set real KPIs. If you wanna go ahead and gonna set the KPIs for your next kind of migration, we're gonna leave a link down below to our Notion template that we use for every single one of the dis discoveries that we do with our clients. Just that you don't end up in a situation like one of our clients ended up in where they migrated from Webflow to WordPress because they thought they had some problems with a CMS and like whatever, just to realize that that wasn't actually the root of the problem. So they ended up migrating back over to Webflow because that was a platform they liked, but the problems were on the other side. Like the problems were with like the, how they were creating the content, how they were positioning themselves as a company. So you just wanna do the research and ensure that migrating to a different pl platform is actually the root of the problem and not that something else is actually bottleneck for your business. The next part is gonna be choosing the right platform that's gonna fit your needs. And this process can be really fun. It's like buying a new car. There are many different cars. Many different cars are pretty good, but you just need to realize what fits your needs. Personally, for us, we are a Webflow Enterprise Studio. We're always gonna be recommending Webflow, honestly, just because we've worked on WordPress, we've worked on Framer, and we feel like Webflow is gonna give you the most amount of flexibility. But in the end, you don't wanna be sold by another agency or whatever. So I strongly suggest that you do your research. You can see some of our videos where we do comparisons of kind of Webflow to WordPress, Framer to Webflow, just to understand what is the right platform for you at this specific stage so you can make an informed decision. Step four is gonna be migrating your content properly. I mean, you've spent all of this work to create new blogs, case studies, white papers, and like all of the content types there are possible like in the world, and you don't wanna use that traction when you go ahead and migrate over to a different platform. So I strongly suggest to do your scanning of kind of how you're currently ranking on some of the different keywords, what are the places where you cannot make any mistakes when you do the migration, just ensure to account the time for our content migration, and to know that sometimes the C 
CSVs you export from WordPress or any other platforms are just not gonna be that great. So you're gonna need to add a bucket of time afterwards to go ahead and clean everything up, to adjust it to the new platform, maybe to the Webflow CMS, and to have the best possible experience and hopefully even get more traffic when you switch the platform itself. Few of our clients uh, migrated from WordPress to Webflow and they've got a 20% increase in SEO traffic after the migration to a new platform. Just because the content was organized better, we had better kind of SEO technical practices and like Google could crawl the website better. So it's really important to also focus on your content and to understand how you want to migrate it when you migrate it over to Webflow. And the final step is gonna to be to do your due diligence. The same way you wouldn't wanna launch your physical store if it had a lot of different quirks that would annoy the customers, you don't wanna launch your website without doing the proper quality assurance process. Ensure that whichever partner, freelancer, or whatever you're working with has a really strict quality assurance process. And even when that's done, go ahead and QA the website with your team to ensure that nothing gets missed. Because in the end, you wanna make sure that when you migrate to a new platform, you get all the benefits of the platform, hopefully you get a traffic increase, and you don't have any of the downsides in doing the migration itself. And finally, the bonus tip. You don't want to look at the migration as coming in, migrating the website and forgetting it. The core idea behind using a better platform for your website is that you're going to be leveraging the platform to grow the website long term. So that's why I strongly believe that the best way to look at a website that it's never done. You want to migrate, you want to go ahead and go live. Maybe say everybody can drink a couple of margaritas and can just kind of enjoy that everything went well. But afterwards, you want to continuously test, you want to continuously optimize and grow your business by leveraging the new platform and by investing more and more money into your website. Transitioning your website from one platform to another, like maybe Webflow, can be a real game changer. It can help you save money on development costs, it can help you do more marketing campaigns and present your brand in a better way. So by following these five tips, I hope that you're going to be able to do your next website migration that much better. You can download our free discovery to ensure that whichever migration you're going into, you have smart goals and you have goals and KPIs you want to measure to know that the migration was a success.